Welcome to this Word of Hope for the Wednesday of the second week of Easter. Welcome back into my office here at St. Dominic Parish in Denver, Colorado. And if for a preacher, oftentimes when you get those passages that are just so well known, uh, John 3.16 being one of them, it can be a little difficult to sometimes figure out how do you put a new phrase into this, a new spin but we have that phrase that we can all recite almost verbatim. We've seen it at every sporting event. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but have eternal life. I think, though, oftentimes listening through confessions and just conversations with people, some of us have very different ideas of what it actually means to believe in Jesus. Sometimes there's this great focus on orthodoxy, right belief. I have all the right tenets, and all the right tenets are in order, and there is not straight, and I am sure. Sometimes we get really focused on orthodoxy, or orthopraxis, which means right practice. I give all my time to the poor, and I give this, and I do that, and I have prayed this way so right, and I, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And sometimes those two in balance, one might look at the other who might sound like they have great belief but don't practice it, can seem to us as uh, not really believing. And then someone who practices um, a lot of good things but doesn't have right belief, it doesn't hold fully to the way we think the belief is, then we can often get really angry or, again, look at them and say they're not really Christian or Catholic or whatever. I'd like to propose a third different thing about what belief actually is. I think unbelief is more or less being indifferent to Christ. Because oftentimes when people who are struggling for orthodoxy, right belief, or orthopraxis, right practice, or somewhere in between, what we all have in common there is an absolute attention to Christ. There is this intentionality to try to work versus those who could care less about Jesus, could care less about God, and prefer their own systems, their own ways of thinking, their own uh, views of the world, and that Christ has no part in it. Orthodoxy and orthopraxis, guided by the church and the communion of the saints and the communion of the church together, leads us more and more to understand and unpack and unveil those deep mysteries of Jesus. But if we do not use the very institution and belief and witness of those that are filled with the Holy Spirit and only listen to our own self, we can find ourselves very far astray in both the ways we think and the ways we practice. Indifference to Christ means that we can be indifferent to our actions. But when we're attentive to Christ, when we actually allow some part of our heart and our mind to care about God, it's amazing the beautiful things that come out, even if imperfect. That is the Holy Spirit working in us. And so if you are struggling with figuring out how believing are you, even if you have doubt, whether you're practicing right or believing right, trust that the Holy Spirit is already working in you. Trust that there is a movement in God, and if you just give Him a smidge, it's a theological term, just a smidge of belief, the Lord can create great life out of it. And guard that. And encourage those around you to guard that life, to leave room in their heart for the Word of God, for the Spirit of God to work. The God can enter all spaces, all hearts, and all minds. Don't doubt your goodness. And don't necessarily doubt the goodness of others who are at least trying. Let us encourage to make Christ visible in whatever ways we might can, we can. And in that visibility, Christ's light might shine through the world and open all hearts and all minds to truth and goodness. God bless.